My dear brothers and sisters, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this Holy Eucharist of Love. We invite you to pray for your intentions. Ask the Lord to bring graces and blessings upon you. Today, let us pray for all our brothers and sisters who need God's graces and blessings, those who are waiting for a miracle in life those who feel depressed, tensed, and worried, the aging parents who need God's touch, who need God's company. Let us pray for each other. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. Let us call to mind all our sins and our failures and ask the Lord's pardon and mercy for those times that we have failed. With a contrite heart, let us confess together. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of God the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, peace, peace to, to people, people of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. you. We, we give you thanks for your, for your great glory. glory. Lord God, Lord, heavenly King, O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only, only begotten Son, Lord, Lord God, God Lamb, Lamb of God, Son of, of the Father, Father. You, you take away the sins, sins of the world, have, have mercy on us. You take, you take away, away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom, Chapter 1, Verses 13 to 15, Chapter 2, Verses 23 to 24. God takes no pleasure in the extinction of the living. Death was not God's doing. He takes no pleasure in the extinction of the living. To be, for this he created all, the world's created things have health in them. In them no fatal poison can be found and hates hold no power on earth, for virtue is undying. Yet God did make man imperishable. He made him in the image of his own nature. It was the devil's envy that brought death into the world, and those who are his partners will discover. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Responsorial Psalm I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me. I will pra praise you, Lord, you have rescued me, and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you have raised my soul from the dead. Restored me to life from those who sink into the grave. Response I will praise you, Lord. You have rescued me. Sing psalms to the Lord, you who love him. Give thanks to his holy name. His anger lasts a moment. His favor all through life. At night there are tears. But joy comes with dawn. Response I will praise you, Lord. You have rescued me. The Lord listened and had pity. The Lord came to my help. For me you have changed my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, I will thank you forever. Response I will praise you, Lord. You have rescued me. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Chapter 8, verses 7, 9, 13 to 15. The Lord Jesus became poor for your sake, to make you rich. You always have the most of everything, of faith, of eloquence, of understanding, of keenness for any cause and the biggest share of our affection. So we expect you to put the most into this work of mercy too. Remember how generous the Lord Jesus was. He was rich, but he became poor for your sake, to make you rich out of his poverty. This does not mean that to give relief to others, you ought to make things difficult for yourself. It is a question of balancing what happens to be your surplus now against the present need. And one day they may have something to spare that will supply your own need. This is how we strike a balance. As scripture says, the man who gathered much had none too much. The man who gathered little did not go short. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Your words are spirit, Lord, and they are life. You have the message of eternal life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 5, 
verses 21 to 24 and 35 to 43. When Jesus had crossed in the boat to the other side, a large crowd gathered round him, and he stayed by the lake. Then one of the synagogue officials came up, Jairus by name, and seeing him, fell at his feet and pleaded with him earnestly, saying, My little daughter is desperately sick. Do come and lay your hands on her to make her better and save her life. Jesus went with him and a large crowd followed him. They were pressing all round him. While he was still speaking, some people arrived from the house of the synagogue official to say, Your daughter is dead. Why put the master to any further trouble? But Jesus had overheard this remark of theirs, and he said to the official, Do not be afraid. Only have faith. And he allowed no one to go with him except Peter and James and John, the brother of James. So they came to the official's house, and Jesus noticed all the com commotion with weeping and wailing unrestrainedly. He went in and said to them, Why all this commotion and crying? The child is not dead, but asleep. But they laughed at him, so he turned them all out and taking with him the child's father and mother and his own companions, he went into the place where the child lay. And taking the child by the hand, he said to her, Talita kum, which means, Little girl, I tell you to get up. The little girl got up at once and began to walk about for she was twelve years old. At this they were overcome with astonishment, and he ordered them strictly not to let anyone know about it, and told them to give her something to eat. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers, and sisters. Jesus is life. He is the light. He is the way. He is the truth. Do you believe that He is life? You may have in your own life certain examples where Jesus has been life for you. Maybe when your wife or husband was sick, when your own brother, sister, mother, father or someone may have been sick and by your prayers you have realized a miracle happened. These miracles do happen, my dear brothers and sisters, in our lives, but we fail to understand them because of our pride, because of our anger and we, we cannot see the goodness of God in our lives because when good things happen, we credit them to us. We credit them to doctors or to people who are well-renowned. Very rarely we bring success because it happens, because it happened, happened because of God. Do we really take up every miracle that happens unto God. Here we see the faith of Jairus who believed that his daughter will be healed. Lord, come and lay your hands upon her. She is dying. By the time Jesus reaches the house, they receive a message that she is already dead. 
But Jesus tells Jairus, Do not be afraid, have faith. This is what we need to do. When you have your own dear, near one who is in the hospital, who is almost dying, but there the ray of hope arises and your own near and dear one begins to live. It is because there is presence of God in your life. All good things happen because there is presence of God in your life because you realize God's presence. God is everywhere. Unless I realize that God is there, I cannot feel the good that happens around me and it happens because of my God. The second reading tells us that he died for my sake. He died so that I may get life. St. Paul say, says, Jesus gives us life and he didn't die for himself. He died for you and he died for me. Every Christian is called to die for others, to live for others, to show love, compassion, generosity towards others. And you see, you get life in abundance. You get life in abundance. This is a Christian spirituality. So my dear friends, let us introspect, look, to, look into our lives and see how we can be life-giving to others just as Jesus did. This is the invitation for all of us. Amen. Let us profess our faith together. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, on the, On the third, third day, day he rose, he rose again, again from, from the dead. dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge God's blessings with gratitude for all the favors that we have received. Let us be thankful to God. At this moment, let us present to our Lord all our intentions, praying for our Pope Francis, cardinals, bishops, priests, religious, deacons, and all the lay faithful. Together, we may give witness to Christ as our Savior and Redeemer, that He is our living God. Let us pray for all the families to live together with unity and understanding. We pray for the sick and the suffering very especially for our aging parents, those who are bedridden, those who feel lonely and deserted, those who have no one to look after them. Let us pray for God's companionship, accompaniment. Let us pray for all our children who are going for school, Praying for our youth who need direction and guidance. Let us pray for our parents who work day in and out to feed us, to nourish us. Let us pray for good health for all of them. Let us pray for our political leaders and the government that they may do what is right 
that they may take every citizen along with them with love and concern let us pray for those couples who need god's grace and gift of child let us pray for those who are struggling to get jobs those who have financial difficulties those who have problems in their marriages let us pray for unity and love let us pray for our personal families and communities intentions we offer you o lord divine our humble gifts of bread and wine we place them on your Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your Majesty. may profit us for salvation through Christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift, lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it, it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks to our holy father almighty and eternal god for in goodness you created a man and when he was justly condemned in mercy you redeemed him through christ our lord through him the angels praise your majesty dominions adore and powers tremble before you heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation may our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them let the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is a chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me
mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held this body to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and found by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not, not into temptation, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
My dear brothers and sisters, we thank you for participating in the Holy Eucharist daily. We request you to share the link with others. As we have shared with you few days, couple of days before, that we are wanting to have a digital board for Bible studies so that we can reach out to many through online services for Bible and scriptural studies, explanations and other courses which we will be able to avail to the youngsters, to our families and to people who can nourish their feet. It is expensive for us to buy this board but together with our generous contributions we can make it possible. We humbly request you if it is possible for you to help us. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, may you have a wonderful Sunday with your family and friends. Live Jesus. I'm rejoicing that a day as I walk the pilgrim way For the hand of God in all my life I see And the reason of my bliss is the secret all of this And the comforter that abides in me He abides, He abides Hallelujah, He abides in me I'm rejoicing that